What's up everybody? Product Probes back at you with another one. This is a popular one on Amazon. It's the MTEC USA MTA845BK. Let's dive into it, guys. Hi, my name is my name is my name is Let's open this thing up. I'm excited about this knife. It had some good reviews on it. Things torn off right there. But, yep, that's what they were saying in the reviews on Amazon is that this thing is a lot larger than what the picture says. The, wow, I wasn't expecting that. The trigger on it to be such a big knife is actually not too bad at all. Let's get a close up on it. That's kind of what it looks like there. The first thing I want to do is dive into the sharpness of this blade. Let's go see how sharp this thing is. Let's see how sharp this knife really is. I think that it's going to be rather sharp. The, um, you know, it's not getting too, it's almost like it's pulling, but if you work it, it's more dead skin on there than anything, but you can see where it's taking some of the hairs off of it. Sure, if you can get it zoomed in on that. But, like I said, more dead skin than anything. It's, mm, it's hit or miss. Let's see what it's like on a piece of paper. If I were to get it right here at the corners. Yeah, seems to be. Hmm. Not too bad, guys. The point on it. Could be a little better, but seems to have a rather clean cut. You can see some rips in there to where it just rips down, but for right out of the box, without running it through a sharpener at all, that is not too bad of a blade. All right, guys, some of the features on this knife, I don't know if you can see the close up, but you have your indentions right here. The trigger, it's a nice size trigger. It's right there on the back. You have your glass breaker and your seat belt cutter. So this knife would be a good knife to keep in your glove box or your little center console. The belt clip seems to be a pretty beefy belt clip. It's got the liner lock right there in the middle. Seems to lock or to unlock rather easy. Can do it with one hand, even though it is a larger knife. The spring on it, of course, is a little bit stronger see that you can well that's kind of where it gives out right there is where the spring is actually hitting so I figured the spring would be rather strong because of such a big blade you got your dual thumb studs which I like on the blade right here you got your grooves in the blade it's a sexy looking knife guys I like that now, the belt clip is hit or miss, so let's go see what this thing looks like in the pocket. All right, guys, this is what it looks like in the pocket. As you can see, the print on it is rather large. The, uh, they did a good job at putting the belt clip super high, which I like. However, well, nope, there it goes. It fits on down in there, but it is a rather large knife, so the print on it's but it's actually not that bad. If you were to reach in your pocket, have something else. Slide on it. Yeah, it doesn't slide out too bad. So if you were to have it one-handed, and I like the fact that that trigger is right there, which is something that you'll hear me talk about a lot in these videos, is when you go to pull it out, bam, the trigger's right there. So, good feel in the pocket. It is rather bulky. Um, you know, I normally wear blue jeans, got khakis on today. So I doubt in a pair of dark wash jeans, it would be too much of a print. My shirt's rather short, so can't really get the concealed side of it. But that's what it looks like in the pocket, guys. All right, now, one thing about it is that it is a super large knife. So let's get some measurements on this bad boy. Fully open. This knife is going to measure out 
with the glass breaker, nine inches. So it's a nine inch pocket knife. The blade itself, it's gonna be three and a half inches right here. And then closed, this is what it's gonna be sitting in your pocket. Five inch, yeah, well, you could probably play with it and make it five and a half, five inches, somewhere around in there. So not too bad. Now, when you think of a knife this big, I'm sure it's gonna be on the heavier side, but it is distributed rather well. The balance on it's not too good, but stainless steel blade, aluminum handle, right there on that stainless steel underneath so it's just the aluminum and you know what that's not aluminum guys that is straight plastic this is the plastic handle on it so it's probably gonna end up being rather yeah what is that six point six point nine we'll go ahead because i saw it jumping up there to seven so almost seven ounce knife but what do you expect with a nine inch pocket knife so here's another close-up right there let's open it up here's the blade got the nice m tech right here the little thumb grip right here in the back is not too bad it's kind of jagged right here so you can get your thumb on it rather smoothly defensive position you've got it here nice trigger guys i like this knife so for a cheap little knife on amazon this thing is awesome now everyday carry you know, not sure because it's so big, but if you want a nice knife that you can bust out a window, cut your seat belt, and if, heck, if you needed a knife in your car, this might be the way to go. Good weight to it, nice feel, sharp blade. Just a quick review, guys, on what this knife is. Not much other to say about it than that, so... Guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, let us know in the comments section below. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow us on our journey, and we will see you in the next one.